Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Last time, we completed those uh, chores from Mother Superior, but of course she's still not happy with us, so uh, we now need to get her some cat food. And also we need to help uh, Edna figure out what the heck uh, Garrett's up to, I guess, since he's been spying on her. Anyway, there's something I want to do here first. Okay, let's exit out of that. Power! Riot Girl rules. Okay, so I guess we're gonna say the same thing over and over again, but if you keep Chibuya doing this. Shing Shing indeed. Like, is that all you two girls do all day? Is just like quote from this manga you like? I think we're almost there. I think it has to be done uh, now, because I can't do it later. Shing Ching, Shibuya Power. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Almost there. Probably should have just done this off screen, because it's not that important. Come on. There we go. Achievement unlocks Shibuya power. Basically, just make them say that over and over and over again. <laughs> All right. Hey, there's that Garrett guy. He is kind of creepy looking. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him! That was weird how the uh, dialogue didn't appear for that first line, but oh well. <sighs> uh oh, and look who's there. Anyway, he went to the chapel, so let's just uh, sneak past these boys. Or not. Who do we have here then? Creepy Lily! How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Johnny. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee! Aha! I knew it! A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Hey, now, that wasn't very nice. Uh, well, we can't do that right now, I guess, since... We need to give that recipe to the lunch lady, and that bully has it. But at least let's uh, do that thing for Edna and check out what Garrett's up to. He went to the chapel. What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Interesting. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. Well, before we go on with that, I want to find out uh, where Garrett went. There's only one real place to the go. The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. Oh my gosh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. 
Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Okay. Nothing there. Let's take a look. The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. Interesting. And no, I was gonna say, that looks like Garrett's jacket, but I guess it's this guy's jacket since he's not wearing one. The cross looked very unstable. Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Frank was completely occupied with the stone slabs. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The Great Church Conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. We have a tool for that job. But anyway, it looks like we're playing a broken sword now, with all this Templar stuff going on. Uh, I still need to uh, beat the fifth game in that, but I will be doing that series on this channel eventually. Uh, shh for a second. Oh great, if there's just been a landslide in the Templar subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Too noisy, huh? Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Uh, we're not gonna get anywhere with him with that. But we have an air hammer for him. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill, but such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Okay. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hello, hey, what was that secret Frank, door there? Frank! Ah, what the hell? Despite playing this for a second time, there's certain things uh, I've uh, noticed now, knowing what I know. I'd like to be able to say that Lily had a plan. That she was thinking about luring Garrett into the confession booth and locking it shut with a bar. But Lily was just thinking about ponies. Hmm. He's locked in here. That would uh, get him out of Edna's hair. A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. Aha! Uh -huh. At first glance, the board didn't look very exciting. But Lily was used to making do with little. While other children unwrapped their presents at Christmas, she could find happiness in a pine needle dropped from a Christmas tree. Ah. Alright, uh, so we need to get back in there, but now he's drilling and, uh... Garrett's not gonna do go back in while all that noise is happening. So uh, let's report to Edna on what we've found. Mm -hmm. 
Lily had never seen Edna. Oh, anyway. And are you making progress? Uh, cool. So you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <laughs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. Indeed. The... Uh... Before you say anything, I thought of something else. I think Garrett has a secret hiding place in the chapel. Uh... Yeah, a kind of listening station in the confession booth. This should prove once and for all that he's spying for Mother Superior. The question is whether we can somehow use this knowledge against him. Uh-huh. Lily actually had an idea. She would lock Garrett in his secret room. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Wait, I know. What if we locked Garrett in his secret surveillance room? Just pretend you want to give confession, and when he's in his hiding place, wham! Our trap will snap shut on him. <sighs> Don't be sad, Lily. I'm sure you'll come up with a good idea next time. But for now, let's get to work. It was my plan, so now you have to set it in motion. Ah. Uh -huh. hmm. um. Wait a minute. What's that? Do you hear those noises too? Hmm. I think someone's drilling inside the chapel. <sighs> it's probably just Frank looking for evidence of a church conspiracy again. Dang! That could ruin our plans. If Garrett can't listen in on you, we won't be able to lock him in his hiding place. You have to think of something to get rid of Frank. Did you happen to find the plans for my time machine? Uh-uh. Eh, they weren't finished yet anyway. Hmm. How big is the microwave oven in the school cafeteria? Um... Ah, forget it. That won't work. And all my other ideas are a little complicated. We don't have time for them. I guess the easiest thing to do would be to help him with his search. Once Frank has found what he's looking for, he'll hopefully stop drilling. Okay, that's an idea. So we need to help him find what he's looking for. Well, let's... It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. Hmm, how do we get to it? Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal, with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. You haven't been learning very much at this convent school, have you, Lily? Maybe they just haven't been teaching it. Okay, so um, if we go over here... Hello, Capu. What's firecrackers? How did they ever get up there? Hmm, if only we could get to them. The gargoyle seemed to worry about its companion, but it also didn't lift a finger to stop it from falling. Typical. <laughs> the gargoyle had lost its balance long ago. Only a thin rope was stopping it from falling. Why didn't it just give up? Yeah, I have this rope up here. Hmm. But if it fell, then I could get those firecrackers. We'll have to see about that. The school clock was out of reach. That's too bad. Hello, Kapu. Kapu was the nicest guy at the convent school. Lily liked him so much that she had even named her cockroach after him. That reminded her that she'd been meaning to punch air holes in the box for weeks. Oh, better get on that. Um... Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. I think you're great, just as you are. Lily's heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. Except you did zero to stop him from taking that stuff from me. Hmm. Are you really that nice? Oh, well, what's in here? Um... Hello? Oh, it wasn't the skeleton from biology class after all. It was just the old man again. From history class. Okay. Lily had asked for a musket last Christmas. Instead, she'd been given a muskrat nibbling on gingerbread. Interesting. Another treasure chest. Today was probably the happiest day in Lily's life. Right after the day, she didn't have to eat rhubarb because one of her teeth had cracked. Who did... Is this directly translated from German? Who writes this? Hey! Don't touch it! 
That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Okay. Well, they're now allowing girls in Boy Scouts, and so this thing, this game's a bit outdated, I guess. Someone had trapped the guinea pig in a glass. The animal took it in stride. It didn't even try breaking out. Ah, what a... Accepting little guy, I guess. Oh, we can just take it. There were three empty pedestals on the shelf. That could mean something. Hmm. Or nothing at all. Um... Oh! A visitor! What a rare... Rare... Rare animal. The hawk. But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with... With extra ketchup, please. That went a few different directions. Uh, uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um... To tell you how it used to be. When the pyramids were built, I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've... Unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then, I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh yes, I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history, Cla... Cla... Are you okay? Uh. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Interesting. No, no, no fear. I haven't forgotten your earlier question. On the contrary, I'm known for remembering everything all the time. This is thanks to a little trick I learned from an old Chinese mason long ago. All I need is a memory aid, like objects that remind me of the three E's. The first E stands for emotion. It tells me whether I was sad, happy, or angry in that situation. The second E stands for engagement. It reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength, heroic courage, or sleepiness. The third E stands for eating. To remember, I have to know which fruit I ate that day. Vitamins are good for the... Uh, for the... Anyway, what's the most important is about the uh, Templars? Uh. Hmm? W what? Oh, oh I, I must have dropped off for a moment. But I was just going to tell you an exciting story from my past. Was it the story of how I tried to navigate to Cape Town and ended up discovering the Eurasian continent? Uh-uh. Oh, I know. 
I wanted to tell you how I helped the Templar Knights build the convent chapel, right? Uh-huh. I was particularly happy because I had eaten a banana. Or was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my heroic valor. Or was my heroic valor while building dikes in Atlantis? But I think I had an apple that day. Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? And angry while building the chapel? Oh, what puppycock. I'm getting everything mixed up. Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote, so that I'd remember the location of the secret crypts below the convent chapel. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion, engagement, and eating. Now I can't... Um, oh, can't make a fool of myself. Now, let's see. Okay, we need to get those back for him then. Uh. Did I tell you about my memory aid yet? I don't think so. All I need are okay, more. Yeah. Does that answer? Uh. What's the matter, sweetheart? Did you forget your question? Here's a small tip. The I'm first tells the me the thing. second reminds The third who remembers. And uh, ah, I know exactly what you're looking for. An instructive story about my time with the Templar Knights. Unfortunately, my memory aid is still missing a few important pieces. If I only knew what the three E's for this story were. But right now, all I can remember are a few vague associations. Four, to be precise. Interesting, but uh, we can't do anything with this right now because we still need those three uh, aids here. So let's just uh, end that for now. So can we help this man with his memory aids? I guess we're just going to have to uh, find out next time on Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.